Greetings, fellow wrestlers. My name is Billy Wicks. I've been wrestling for about 50 years. I started when I was 15 years old. Got started in carnival wrestling at the age of 19. And I was trained by Henry Colin and a Doug Henderson. Henry Colin was in his early 60s, and he taught me a lot of tricks, uh, carny style wrestling. Okay, uh, gentlemen, what I'm going to show you right now is head techniques. Now, turning the head is very important in getting a good neck crank on a guy that you're wrestling. And your headlock actually starts from these two knuckles right here. This is what turns the man's head. You'll see a lot of guys trying to push a nice forearm across the guy's head. But the two knuckles is where your power starts from. You're actually punching the man. But you're not hitting them. You put his hand up, stiffen your neck up, and I'll turn your head. Boom. I'll turn his head. And when I get a turn, I'm using my radius bone. That is real important, and radius bone. Locking his hands right and putting it up like this. That will crush the man's head. Now, the reason to turn the head is so he can't use the trapezius muscles. When the head is straight, stiffen your neck up, Matt. When the neck, neck is straight, he's strong. He's got a strong neck. He's got, got, got a 20-inch neck. But if I turn his head now, boom, rip his head, turn his head this way, lock up on it, I'm going to crack, crack him out. And like I said, turning the head, you can't use the trapezius muscles. So that's very important in learning how to turn the head. Like I said, two knuckles, either way, it'll turn his head. Okay. Now these two knuckles, like I'm explaining to you, are very important. Started right behind the ear. Get right up on his cheekbone. Any sensitive area in the head. The jawbone. Driving those two knuckles into the head. That'll turn his face. Boom. Those two knuckles, like I'm trying to get over to you, the important part. Lock up. Talk about turning the head right here now. Man's neck is straight. Step in your neck up, man. I lock up. Try to pull on his neck. Strong neck. Now, I'm going to turn his head with those two knuckles. Now he can't use some trapezius muscles back here now, see? Hold up again. Stiffen your neck up. Hey, hard to pull in the man's head. Boom, I turned his head now. I got his head turned. Try to hold your neck down, man. He can't do it because he can't use these trapezius muscles back here. Like I said, these techniques working on the head were taught to me by Henry Cohen in the carnivals back in the early 50s. And later on in years, 1959, Ed Stringer Lewis, world's heavyweight champion back in the 20s, he just confirmed the same thing that Henry showed me because I trained with Ed Stringer Lewis for about two weeks. And he just showed me the same thing that Henry Cohen had showed me back in the early 50s. I'm going to talk about a side double wrist lock now for a minute. A lot of people, when they go for the hold, they give up too soon. Once you get this hold locked, you've got to hold. Hold on to it. The man will finally put himself in a position to get tapped out. But you've got to make a commitment to this hold. This was a carnival hold that Henry Coleman says, you can get this hold from any position, from the top, from the bottom, standing on your feet, locking your hands like so. This is your proper grip. And there's a couple of variations that Johnny's going to show you a little later on. But once you go for this hold, hold on to it. Don't, you got to commit, commit to it. See, so many guys, they, they train their body, but they don't train their mind. They don't think, they don't think with that computer up there behind their eyes. That's where their thinking and wrestling starts from. 
And this is the hole right here. I guarantee you, as old as I am, I'll get it on a big man. My two arms are stronger than one man's. Everybody should know that. Your two arms are stronger than your opponent's one arm. And once you get onto it, lock onto it, and hold. This is a real important hold to have in your arsenal. Now I'm going to show you the different hand positions of this wrist lock. This is position number one. This is position number two. This is position number three. Now the purpose of making the hand so he can't make a fist is so he can't use the, his uh, forearm muscles. Try to make a fist. He can't make a fist, so his arm is not as strong as it was if he had uh, using his forearm muscles. So that's one position. Number three. Number two, he can't make a fist. Make a fist. He can't make a fist. Number one. I want to elaborate a little bit more. When a man can make a fist, make a fist. Now, pull your arm in between us. Pull your arm in between us. Pull your arm in. Pull your arm up. Say he's strong now. Because he can use that fist with the forearm, using his forearm muscles. Now, when you grab the guy this way, make a fist. Make a fist. You can't make a fist. I've got him really good now. Grabbing the thumb, pad. He can't make no fist. He can't use those trap. Uh, can't use his uh, forearm muscles right here. So I'm much stronger now. Now Johnny's going to show you some variation of this hold on the mat, down, because you get this hold from any position. Now I'm going to talk about a headlock for a minute. Invariably, everybody will grab you around the head and they'll put a hand like that. Now they're holding on with one hand. One hand, that's all they're holding on with. This hand ain't holding on to nothing. To do a proper headlock, side headlock, then we get back into the two knuckles again. That's what's very really important in this headlock. Not like this. But like this. Now these two knuckles is what's going to punish him. I'm going to put his those knuckles in his eye socket, in his nose, in his cheek, any place in his lips. I'm going to, I'm going to tear his face up with those knuckles. That's what's going to hurt him. That's going to hurt him. The knuckles, I'm punching him, but I'm not moving my hand. Right, go like this, like this. Just lay it on him. That's going to be a submission pretty close right there. There again, those two knuckles. Right, right, right into his face. Right there. I'm sorry. So these two knuckles right here, front two knuckles, are going to go on his cheekbone, in his uh, jawbone, in his lips, in his, in his temple. This is where the punishment comes. These two knuckles right into the Temple's a real center, center. that's why he's tapping so quick on the back here. But this is your headlock. Those two knuckles is the headlock. Not this. Not this. This, two knuckles. Right there. talk about the front cross face headlock now. There again, head bent over like so. I'm turning the head. You notice how the shoulder raises up a little bit? I want to stop him from doing that in a minute when I'm going to show you the front cross face headlock. But there again, returning the head. My right hand goes behind the tricep. My left hand goes across his face. Lock up. His head is turned, right? He can't use those trapezius muscles. 
I step in and raise up the deal tap. Now this is right there. So actually what I'm doing, his head is turned like so. I'm putting pressure down here on his head. He's got an arm across here and I'm literally trying to hang him. Well there again, see, when he raises that shoulder, he's trying to get his neck straight. But if I grab that tricep back here and lock it up like so, he can't do that. I can take him out right here. You'll see guys in competition, they'll just grab the guy's head like this and try to choke him out. It's not effective as far as I'm concerned. It's not a very good technique. The technique is just grabbing that tricep, keeping him from straightening that head, having him out like this. I want to talk a little bit now about wrestling. You don't have to know a thousand holes to be a good wrestler. Learn yourself about a dozen good submission holes, but you must learn how to wrestle before you can apply a wrestling hold. And so many guys train their bodies, but they don't train their minds. And wrestling starts up there behind your eyes and your computer. So learn how to wrestle and don't worry about takedowns. Because unless you're wrestling amateur, of course, but we're talking submission wrestling here. We're talking about the real stuff. Wrestling doesn't start until you hit the mat. Oh, Henry used to say, hell, I'll let you take me down anytime you want to take me down. Because the wrestling won't start, the submission won't start until we get down on the, on, on the mat. So wrestling is uh, the most important thing in the sense of don't worry about it, wrestling. And learning how to get behind your opponent, and you learn that from basically from amateur wrestling. So if you into a good takedown, get behind your opponent, break him down, ride him, and sooner or later he'll give you a submission hold. And uh, if you're on the bottom, like Henry said, don't worry about being on the bottom, but learn about wrestling holds and wrestling. You want your opponent to carry your weight, and you can use your elbows, and you use your shin bones, you use your knuckles, and control the man's hips. That's very important, kind of control the man's hips. When you're riding a guy, you use your elbows to cause him a little discomfort and get a reaction from him because uh, it's uh, drawn a blank. Job. All right. If you ever wrestled me, I'd get you down. I'd be punishing you. Punishing you and punishing you before I even put a hold on you. I'm going to break you down and make you carry my weight. I'm going to put my elbows in your uh, backbone. I'm going to put my shin bone across your Achilles tendons. And I'm going to punish you and punish you before I submit you. And I'm gonna get you tired. And it's very difficult just to run in there and try to grab a hold of a guy and think, well, I'm gonna put a hold on and beat him. No, you gotta suck on a softer, soften him up a little bit. So that's what I like to do. I usually get a guy down, ride him hard, use my elbows, use my chin, I'm drag him into the ribs. Just, just punish the guy before I would submit him.